how we doing? How we doing, y'all? Eagles Nation. But we 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 at a certain point. We at six and seven right now. Week fourteen. Mick Foles. He should be the starter. Carson, uh, the MRI came back, CT scan came back saying that uh Carson got a fractured vertebrae. Now uh we just need to figure out what what part is it at the top? Is it at the bottom? Is it in the middle? Where is where is that at? Where did he fracture it at? You see what I'm saying? Um, even after this get better, and we roll into next year with Carson fully healthy, you know what I mean? Are we gonna give him that contract this off season, the front office, or would they come back and say, oh, you know what I mean? Let's let's see you for another 16 games, and then we'll give it to you. But then it'll be more uh, more expensive to. Uh, give Carson that contract then y'all you know what I mean so we're not gonna piss it away like uh Washington did with Kirk Cousins you know we're not a franchise that's in disarray like that but we're at a certain point where it's where things can get real interesting now the fan in us a lot of us are like this we're like okay Nick Foles go beat the Rams you know what I mean? Keep us in the fight. Get us back to 500. You know what I mean? Because when Nick Foles gave it over to Carson, when he went back to holding the clipboard, we were a 500 team. Right now, we only got five more wins than what we had then. So, and then it's a lot of us that we feel, damn, if this happened one, one more time, it's like this. Carson will watch Nick Foles take us to the playoffs again. And who knows what happened? Because we know when it comes to playoff time, it's 0-0. It don't matter. Like the Chiefs, the Rams, the Saints. It don't matter what your what your record was. You cannot go out there in front of your home crowd and lose. You cannot go out there and, and piss that game away. You know what I mean? Um... um you know, I've been listening to the radio. A lot of us, we split on it. You know, right now, um, 57%, you know, uh, we really owe we really owe Carson an apology. You know what I mean? Uh, the offensive coaches, who whoever's in that room with Doug, giving a uh, game plan advice, uh, throwing ideas off the wall, Mike Grove, Press Taylor, who else is in there? Whoever else is in there, Deuce Staley, whatever. They owe Carson Wentz an apology, man, because you cannot allow him to come back. And then in the second half, it's like his back warmed up and the play calling is more. I see more dynamics in the play calling in the second half than I do in the first half. It's like we run right to the defender. And for some reason, they don't run right to us when we're playing other teams. It don't happen like that. So people got our game plan. It seemed like everybody been studying us and been sharing secrets with each other on how to stop the Eagles. I mean, rightfully so, you the defending champions until the next champion is crowned. We know that. But it's just devastating to see your team go from 13 wins to six. We asking when the seventh win going to come. That way we don't be less than half the victories that we had in our championship season the following year when we said our roster was better on paper despite the injuries. We knew we were going to go through injury. We didn't know it was going to be like this in the secondary. We didn't know Jay Ajahi was going to be like that. We didn't know Darren Sproles was going to get hit with the, with the injury like that. Same thing with Corey Clement. Josh Adams, he's battling injuries, but he's playing through his injuries as well. You know what I mean? We commend him for that. But for him to only have seven carries last week, I look for Nick Foles to pull this game out for us some way, somehow, or at least look look like he has life or breathe life into our offense. You know what I mean? If Nick Foles go out here and put 28 up and we lose 42 to 28, something like that, two touchdown game or something, a lot of us go sit up there and be like, man, if especially if we run the same plays and Nick Foles are hitting those passes that Carson not, a lot of us gonna just say, you know, Nick Foles he get the benefit of the doubt because he is the champion, and 
He is a Super Bowl MVP, but he's fully healthy too. That, that, that's all we're going to be able to credit, to credit it to. I mean, you're healthy. This the same players. Same players. And I just don't want to see Doug Peterson like, oh, I can run something different with you than I can run with Carson. Or you hitting passes that Carson not. It just don't need to be that much of a of a um of a difference. Y'all know what I mean. It don't need to be that much of a difference, man. Because if it is, then all these pundits out here for ESPN, Fox, you know what I mean, NBC Sports, what they will do is they will write these stories, man, and this will define our season. This will define our season. And they'll write them all off season. And I'm looking to go visit uh, Philadelphia this off season. Take my family up there for a trip. You know what I mean? I, I look to do that in the off season, definitely. During the summer, you know what I mean? Because this is a key summer for us. And as well, I'm trying to take my family to the Nashville, uh, to the uh, NFL draft 2019. That's a big draft for us, y'all. It's a big draft. We, we about to see which young guns is rolling with us in future years because we do need to start drafting better. No doubt. We do need to start putting better draft picks out there. We need to stop drafting these guys and we're not keeping them on the roster. They're leaving. Bo Allen, Vinny Curry, they're leaving. You know what I mean? They're not, we're not reeing them up on a contract, a team-friendly contract. What we're doing is we letting them walk. Now, we know how the business go. You can't keep everybody. But you at least trying to keep the guys that you drafted. Not just guys that you brought in as free agents. You know what I mean? And then we turn around and talk about chemistry. Like like they say, you can walk in uh, the Eagles locker room. It's not how it was last year. Well, we ain't riding no 10-game win streak either like we were last year. Nine 10-game win streak, cleaning teams out. Scoring 35 straight in six straight games. We, we haven't scored 35 points all season long. Closest we got was uh, week six in New York, 34 points. Carson throw for 22, 22 for 32, three tubs, but he was lifeless for three quarters. Lifeless for three quarters. Back get warmed up, you know what I mean? Boom, like he kept saying, it's not the knee. Like he kept saying, it's not the knee. Like the sidekick said that came on uh, 94 WIP earlier this year in the offseason. She said, it will not, it won't be in his control. It's something he can't control. Somebody will be holding him back. Our medical staff. You know what I mean? How we change our medical staff over in the next year. You see all these guys just dropping like flies. We didn't drop like that last year. Not like that. Not that early. Not in the offseason. We was dropping in games, games that we won. You see what I'm saying? That's different. You lose guys in games, you're like, hey, we won. You got time to come back. Hey, man, we got a replacement over here. Next man up. We all we got. We all we need. Us against the world. Philly against everybody. You know what I mean? It was just, it was just this certain type of, you know, we, we had it. We had this core. We had this bond. It was just so strong. It was everything was together, man. You know, at the games, I saw fans high-fiving each other. You know what I mean? I used to see folks in the store. And I stay way down in Texas. I used to see folks in the store. Hey, man, like your hat. You know, it's a lot of Eagles fans down here, too. You know what I mean? So, so never get it twisted. You know, whenever I see an Eagles fan, I, I make sure I say what's up. You know what I mean? Say something. Let them know, hey. Yeah. Yeah. We just uh we just need to, you know, fix a couple things. But um Who knows what might happen Sunday night? Sunday night. Sunday night is it's almost Friday and we ain't even really got our Carson Wentz, y'all. We got another quarterback that's about to be up under Jason Kelsey. And we need to get behind him. Because if he go get this dub, all y'all going to be on. Trust me. Believe that. We know that. Fly, Eagles. Fly.